In this video, we look at some goofs from the most popular show of the 1980s, The A-Team. It might drive you a little crazy. You're driving me crazy! This is TV Crazy Man here, talking about another show and some more goofs. On the episode Taxi Cab Wars, B.A. a.k.a. Mr. T is trying to get an older couple to ride in his cab. But a bad guy from a rival cab company tries to trick the older couple into believing B.A.'s cab is not in service. Mr. T gets ticked and starts throwing bad guys around like rag dolls. The crazy thing happens though, really quickly, notice the older couple are clearly standing outside the cab. Mr. T has not put them in the cab yet. But then, there's the older lady inside the cab, and then she's outside again. Whoa! I mean, it's like a total time jump. Invasion of the Twilight Zone on the A-Team? Or is this a tie-in to Ripley's Believe It or Not? You be the judge. In season one, in the episode A Nice Place to Visit, during the opening chase sequence, we hear Hannibal say, Step on it, B.A. Interior van shots indicate that Mr. T is driving. However, shots from outside the van show that someone else is driving who isn't wearing a beard. And on top of that, B.A. seems to keep changing clothes. Could it be the A-Team is so tough that they can change drivers while changing clothes in the middle of a high-speed chase? Okay, in the second season episode, Recipe for Heavy Bread, there's three different goos that I want to talk about. And in the scene where the team is escaping with uh, Lynn from a bakery, Murdoch is on the A-Team van and he's shooting at tires of approaching bad guys. When the black car's tires explode, a filming crew member jumps out behind a stack of crates located at the lower right of the picture. Okay, there's another uh, scene in that episode uh, when they're tailing bad guys. Hannibal removes his coat and tie. As the van makes the right turn, Hannibal is still wearing his coat and tie. Don't touch my van, sucker. If you do, I'll come back and feed you your socks. Okay, in the beginning of this episode, Mr. T walks up to this valet to fuss about his van. You can see his uh, feathered earrings are behind him, and all of a sudden, boom, they're right in front of him. I don't know, could have been a big gust of wind. Who knows? I ain't going anywhere with him, Hannibal. Now talk about the Mandela effect. I distinctly remember Dirk Benedict as playing face from day one. But in the very first pilot episode of the A-Team, another face is seen played by Tim Dunnigan. Apparently in the real world, they thought Tim was too young or too tall to fit in with the rest of the gang. But for those that did notice, it must have seemed like a pretty strange occurrence to change actors right off the bat like that. Now on a side note, if you wonder what this particular scene is about, Dirk Benedict had just gotten off of a famous role in Battlestar Galactica, thus the Cylons on the A-Team intro. In the episode, there's always a catch. The A-Team runs out of a hospital to escape Colonel Decker. B.A., a.k.a. Mr. T, has a foot injury. Mr. T is clearly wearing a green shirt, but as the A-Team van is running down the road seconds later, B.A. has a pink shirt on. What the heck is going on here? Did B.A. decide he was bored with the green shirt in the middle of a high-speed chase? And let me be clear, I'm not making fun of Mr. T for wearing a pink shirt. No man would still be alive and ever mock Mr. T. Well, I mean, in the 80s, pink was a big thing. Pastels were cool. I mean, just look at Don Johnson. And he was a tough guy, too. Okay, in the episode Steel, when the denim construction car is airborne, the word denim disappears from the side of the car. But when the car stops and comes back to a rest, it's back on again. It's like magic. Well, thanks to slow motion, we can see that the denim is just a sticker and it really just peels off during the stunt. So I guess they decided to put it back on when the car had stopped. Now on the episode Bad Time on the Border, B.A.'s hair grows several inches from the beginning of the episode towards the middle and, and the end of the episode. It's just weird. I mean, how fast does his hair grow? Did it take like several months to film this episode? Or does B.A. just have super fast growing hair? You know, something to do with just his overall super health and superness, you know, because he's like Superman. You know, I don't know. And let me be clear, I am a big fan of the A-Team, so hopefully none of you guys think I'm just making fun of the show. I love the show and I'm just 
pointing out little details here and there that are fun to, to think about. Let me mention something. Uh, besides being TV Crazy Man, I am also Tim Frady, the writer and artist of uh, crazy fun books like Caveman Comics, and I've got a new book out, Caveman Comics Book 5, Attack of the Zombie Monsters. If you like silly stuff and you like to have fun, then please check that out on Amazon. It's on Kindle and paperback. I've also got a lot of other stuff, too, like a comic book superhero named Liberty Ace you might like. So get a chance to check that out, and thanks for watching. Have a great day. Hit that bell, because if you hit the bell, then you can uh, get notifications when I make a new video. If you don't, you're liable to miss one. So if you really want to see a bunch more, please hit the bell. And subscribe, of course, and uh, comment and like and share the video and all that kind of good stuff. Thanks. Have a great day. Are you like totally okay? Well, like, see you later, Dad. All right. Bye.